In this video, I'm going to program the touch sensor. The touch sensor I'm using is from Modern Robotics, and if you go to their website, you can uh, read all the specifications and see any documentation. Programming a touch sensor is really easy. First, I need to add it to my hardware file, along with my motors and servos and any other sensors. I'm going to declare its variable, public, and its type is Modern Robotics Touch Sensor. And then I'm going to give it a name. I'm going to call it Toucher or Bumper or something like that. I'm going to set that equal to null because farther down in the initialize code, I will map it to the device and its name in the phone. To do that, I take the name of the touch sensor, in my case, Toucher, set that equal to the hardware map, and then I get the device by telling the program that it's a modern robotics touch sensor dot class, and the name it's going to look for, the name I'm going to type into the phone later on is TCH for touch. You might want a different name. And that's all you need to do to create the touch sensor in your code. Now all that's left is to actually use the touch sensor and see if it's being pressed. Alright, so I go to my simple teleop. All it does in this op mode is initialize the hardware map, wait for start, and then drive the robot forward for a certain amount of time and then park. So what I want to change is instead of driving and parking after one second, I'm going to get rid of the sleep. I want to drive forward until the touch sensor is pressed in. To do that, I'm going to need a while loop because I want to check the touch sensor over and over in a loop. So I type while and the test condition is going to be ro robot.toucher.ispressed. I'm checking to see, is it pressed? And I actually want to know if it's not pressed. So to make it a not pressed, you use the exclamation point. That means not in Java. So I put the exclamation point in the front of it. So I'm testing and looping while it's not pressed. And inside the loop, all I'm going to do is print to the phone the telemetry data waiting for the touch sensor to be pressed. Now, as soon as it is pressed, this loop will end and then we will drop down and run the parking code where it sets all the motors to zero. So it's just going to keep looping and looping and waiting and checking the touch sensor. And as soon as it's pressed, it's going to fail the test condition and move on to stopping the motors. And that's it. That's all you need to do to program a touch sensor. All right, so I downloaded it onto my phone, but I do need to configure the touch sensor. So I need to go into the device interface module and choose digital devices, and then add my modern robotics touch sensor, which I called TCH. Save it, and then activate that configuration file. And now I'm ready to test it out. Now you're going to notice on my robot I don't use the touch sensor all by itself. I 3D printed a little uh, lever to go on the front of the touch sensor so that it'll be a larger pressing surface for the button. That way then I don't have to worry that the tiny little button will be pressed. I have a larger button to be pressing in on it. Alright, let's try it out. So I'm going to initialize and then play my autonomous mode. And then as soon as I press that button, the robot stops. Let's try it again. Pressing it to play, drives forward till I hit that button. 